Doctor Strange will help Groot grow up quick. Doctor Strange will help Groot grow up quick. The Nebula and Valkyrie team up is coming. A Nebula and Valkyrie team up is coming. Mantis is Star Lord sister. Guardians of the Galaxy has been referred to as the Star Wars of its generation, and that makes it the perfect place for a classic secret sibling type plot twist. Redditor slash U slash JMH1982 theorizes audiences have already met Peter Quill's secret sister, and it's none other than the adorably intended Mantis. She does admit to being raised by Ego from her larval stage, but it's entirely possible Ego took her in the first place because she's actually his child. Usually, Ego killed his own children if they lacked the celestial gene, but perhaps he kept Mantis around due to her useful abilities. It's unclear exactly how this secret would be revealed, however, with Ego dead and gone. Ego can't sleep at night due to guilt. The character of Mantis is introduced as a personal assistant of sorts for Ego the Living Planet, but she only serves one major purpose for the nigh omnipotent being she helps him sleep. Redditor slash U slash X is a cross theorizes there's a very simple reason Ego needs help falling asleep at night. He's consumed by the horror of what he has done. Ego has killed his own children and lovers in his quest for purpose. Perhaps he is conflicted about this choice, and all his grandiosity is an attempt to convince himself of his rightness. That's certainly enough internal conflict to keep anyone awake until the wee hours of the morning. Vol. 2 contains the secret to enlightenment. The two Guardians of the Galaxy films are obviously terrific movies, but Redditor slash U slash Macaulaywood thinks they are so good that they are practically existential. According to their theory, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 actually contains a hidden message about enlightenment and the human condition via a metaphor that involves ego the living planet as a representation of the human ego. Through Peter Quill's difficult choice to fight against his father's plan, audiences see love and emotion overcoming the ego, and thus achieving true enlightenment. In McCallowood's own words, based on this story, we have two levels of consciousness. The first level is fueled by the desire to reflect and recreate our own self-identity in others. Because this level of consciousness is guided by the magnetic pull of emotions and ego, we become a slave to their control without even realizing it. This is the self-imposed prison of ego. The second level is our awareness of the first. It is the conscious awareness that flows through the present moment and simply observes our emotions and ego. To reach that second level, you must surrender your ego to love. I think both Stan Lee and James Gunn know this, and the movie will go down in history as one that was way ahead of its time. The Guardians speak in PG-13 language for an in-universe reason. The obvious real-world reason why the Guardians of the Galaxy speak like they are in a PG-13 movie is because they are in a PG-13 movie. But Redditor slash U slash Freelance Eastronaut thinks there is a convenient in-universe reason for the sometimes childish dialogue. Their theory involves the universal translators that each of the characters is implanted with, which allow Earthling Peter Quill to communicate with multiple alien races. The fact that all of the language we're hearing is filtered through Star-Lord's Universal Translator explains everything. As Freelance Eastronaut explains, Star-Lord was taken from Earth when he was eight. He probably stopped actually learning English shortly after. 
As such, his language and all language he hears is going to seem juvenile. Additionally, any profanity he knows probably came from movies and TV shows he saw before he was kidnapped. That still doesn't explain where he learned about the trash panda meme or vulgar Jackson Pollock references, however. Root's language includes the use of pheromones to communicate. Root's language includes the use of pheromones to communicate. Need more Marvel in your life. Officially licensed Marvel collectors just set the Marvel Age of Comics 1961-1978. 40th Anniversary Edition Women's Marvel Spider-Man Red Spider Logo V-Net T-Shirt Marvel Encyclopedia New Edition with Introduction by Stan Lee. Rocket was the result of a NASA mission gone wrong. Star-Lord will draw power from nowhere involved. 3. Star-Lord will draw power from nowhere involved. 3. Yondu is Mr. Blue Sky. Yondu is Mr. Blue Sky. Earth is the only planet in the MCU with advanced musical taste. Earth is the only planet in the MCU with advanced musical taste. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 will feature flashbacks to the original Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 will feature flashbacks to the original Guardians. There's a reason why Groot won't dance in front of Drax. There's a reason why Groot won't dance in front of Drax. Yondu saving Peter is the reason why Peter has celestial powers. Yondu saving Peter is the reason why Peter has celestial powers. Mantis didn't understand her complicity in Ego's crimes. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.